Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video we'll be reviewing everything you need to know to have a working ROM set. This video will cover how I find my ROM sets and how I download my sets. There are many options for getting ROMs, but this is what works for me, and this video is only going to cover the basics in getting a large nice set. As far as a full set of MAME ROMs I'm not sure that is really possible. For those of you that don't know, MAME stands for Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator, and MAME is a program that helps you run arcades on your computer. This guide assumes you know what a game ROM is and assumes that you have a basic understanding of emulators. Those of you that have seen my past videos on the Toughbook laptops that were given to me as e-waste, you'll recognize the laptop and the specs. The hardware we're using is nothing impressive, just a third generation i5 running on an SSD hard drive. To build our main ROM set we will be using a few different websites and programs, and as I'm unsure of the legality of posting direct links to the ROMs, I'll be simply including Internet Archive's main web address, and you'll have to Google the right keywords to find your ROM set. With that said links to all of the other software and websites that you need will be in my description. The first program I'll be getting is a download manager. This program is going to help me automate downloading the main ROM files. I'm going to get this program from Major Geeks, and the program is called HTTP Downloader. The download manager that I've picked is portable, lightweight, and very easy to use. It comes as a simple zipped file with everything you need. All we have to do is unzip the files into a folder, and once done simply click on the program's executable file. Now that we have the program installed, I'll also add a shortcut to the desktop to make it easy to find. The next item we need to get is an extension for the Chrome browser called Link Grabber. This extension simply copies and makes a nice list of all the web addresses that are listed on a web page. In short we are going to use Link Grabber to copy a ton of download links. This bit of information is very important, and if you want your arcade ROMs to play right you will need to make sure that the ROM set you're working with matches that of your main version. In other words, if you're working with ROM set version 0.247, then make sure that the main version you are using is also 0.247, or you will have compatibility issues. Once you know what version of MAME you want to utilize, download your needed version and install it into a folder. I personally install MAME into a folder with the version number listed on the folder. I do this so if I ever want to copy the MAME setup to another computer or drive, I'd know what version I'd be working with. Now let's head over to the Internet Archive and download the needed ROM set. If I was looking for an easy way to find a ROM set, I'd simply enter into my search bar the following words, Archive, MAME, ROM Set, and Version.247. If you do your search right then the first link you find will be a archive link from internetarchive.org with your needed ROM set files. We will need three things from this archive, the CHD files, the sample files, and the ROMs. On this step we are going to only worry about the ROM files. 
To get our needed ROMs, we'll enter the ROM set sublink for the merged ROM sets, and we will be using Link Grabber to copy over all of the ROM files download links. And once we have all of the download links copied with Link Grabber, we'll paste the links into our download manager that we downloaded from Major Geeks. This download manager will automate downloading each of the ROMs, and that's a good thing, because I think there is something like over 20,000 ROMs in this archive alone. We'll be getting the sample files and the, the .chd files also. As I said earlier the ROM files are the arcade games, however there are other files that are needed to play some of the arcade games. The .chd files are large arcade files, and if my understanding is right they are from old onboard arcade hard drives, and the samples files are for items that we need stand-ins for. Like the analog sound of a horn. Because of the download environment that is provided to us, it isn't ideal to use Link Grabber for CHD files, so I always scroll to the bottom of the page and download the torrent link. The torrent link is also another way to automate downloading these bulk files. I'll be using the torrent download manager Deluge, if you have one that you like, then please feel free to use it. Deluge is an easy to use torrent manager, I find it to work well and seems to handle any task I hand it. Now that we have the CHD files downloading with Deluge, let's take a look at the sample files. These we should be able to copy the download links and paste them into our download manager. You'll find the sample files in the ROM archive under the support files section. These files aren't needed for every ROM and this section can probably be considered as optional. I did see that our download manager gives us the option to change where our selected downloads can go, so I'll be telling the manager to send my sample files to my sample folder in the root of main. This will save me a little time and help keep all of my files organized. As I said we'll not need any of the sample files for most of the arcade games, and in fact most of the arcade games don't need the CHD files. As soon as our main ROMs files are done downloading I'll demo one of the games that doesn't require any support files, and once the CHD files are downloaded I'll start Area 51, a game that needs CHD files to work. I now have all of my ROM and sample files downloaded. If you recall the sample files downloaded directly to the needed folder, however we do need to transfer over all the ROM files from the download folder to the ROMs folder in the root of the main directory.
As you can see we now have a working set that we can enjoy, and as promised let me demo a game that doesn't require a CHD file. Remember, when you start a ROM file you're emulating the process of starting a physical arcade up. It will take time for some of the arcades to boot up, so please be patient. After waiting for our CHD files to download, we'll copy them over into our ROM folder, and let's start up Area 51 to test and verify that the CHD files are working. MAME has a specific way that it organizes all of its files, we'll be copying all of the folders inside the folder of the torrent download. Each of these folders has our CHD files inside, and this is the preferred file structure of MAME. Each of these folders, and all of the files inside these folders, need to be pasted into the ROMs folder, in the root of MAME. Now that we have everything downloaded and installed let's start Area 51, and a few other games just to test it out. I don't have an arcade gun set up. So I'm unable to really play the two Area 51 games in my ROM set, but as you can see they do boot up. Let's just try a few games and see if we can get them to boot. We can demo full games in a future demo.
Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That really helps the channel grow.